No, I come to need you more and more each day. I'm learning to just let you lead the way. I'm into you with all my faith. That's why I'm giving you my heart, my mind, my soul. Oh, Lord, my mind, my Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. And you know, I just had to bring this story because I find it very, very insane. Not only do I feel like it's insane, um, just the to, just to sheer um, seriousness of the situation, and you got grown people playing with the situation like it's it's funny. Um and I'm I'm just at the I'm at the wit's end now. Like people, we have sank so low that we could have Will Smith talking about impregnating Taylor Swift for his thirteenth baby mother. Not only that. He was on Howard Stern's show, and the only baby that he forgot after uh, Stern told him to name them all was little baby Onyx. <laughs> he forgot her. He named all the rest of them, but he forgot her. I wonder why. And what is really powerful about the whole thing is that Crazy Corey Holcomb told him he should have a black baby because he got too many babies with different those different kind of women and that he should have a brown baby. The next thing you know, he had a brown baby. So I don't know what is happening on the planet that we can play with these. I'm just talking about the babies now. These infant lies like that because, see, the grown-ups, they're lost. Because anytime you have that many kids the same age, first of all, born in the same year, is friction abound to happen. There's nothing I can say to you now because by the time they get to be teenagers, hell, I'll be gone. And you probably will too. But at the end of the day, if you not, those children are going to beat your ass. And guess what? I don't feel no ways about it. They should. Anytime somebody was that irresponsible to have that many children in a year, that many kids the same age. Listen, I know the conversations I have with my siblings, and we got the same mama and the same daddy. The things we fight about. What about y'all? With y'all siblings? Y'all... The things that y'all um, uh, uh, feel that, you know, just didn't go right. Maybe you got a child that was a, a, a sibling that was the golden child. Maybe you got a, uh, a sibling that was the invisible child. And these are all in the same household under the same roof, okay? And y'all still managing your relationships. How do you think it's going to be for all these 12 children? Well, I'm going to say 10 because I don't think Mariah going to even have her kids up in that mess. Um, how do you think they're going to deal with this, their teenage years, when, when teenagers are crazy anyway? When they hormones start going nuts, they become physically, psychologically insane creatures. Anybody who ever had teenagers will back me up on this one. They go through a period where they are just insane. And if you survive that, and if they survive it, you be like, whew, I'm glad. This is when they start, you know, they want to, they, they running with boys, they, they, they running with girls, they, they might get pregnant. Um, everything is happening during those years. And they don't have enough foresight 
to see that all those kids are going to be going through that shit together. He don't have enough st testicular fortitude to know that that's going to be a problem. And the women that are allowing themselves to be pimped out, whored out, and for a bag, oh, God bless, help them all. And then the only one you forget about is Onyx. Ain't that something? Oh, my God. Listen, I'm praying for those babies. Um, I don't pray. I'm not praying for the uh, um, union of a Taylor Swift and a Nick Cannon because I would hope that Taylor Swift would tell him to uh, kill himself if he's thinking about trying to impregnate her. I would hope that she would have enough sense to say something like that. Because only a woman with some class and decorum would uh, reject him. Any of those other women that are Jezebels and that will sell themselves out for a mess of pottage, well, y'all free. Those are the ones he should go after. Okay? So anyway... I'm sorry. I just had to make that comment because it's just so disgusting. He's disgusting. I used to have a lot of respect for this guy. Now, I believe when you had that meeting with them rabbis, I'm not so sure if the gatekeepers didn't tell you to perform like a big slave because that's exactly what you're doing. And talking about you woke, you the biggest epitome of a plantation buck in the year 2023 with that being said i'm out of here if you like what you hear subscribe and share the channel